Welcome back everyone, it's Sylvia from Aussie Scrapper and today I'm participating in the Scrapping Clearly Sketch Challenge for the month of July and this is what I came up with. So as soon as I saw this sketch I knew I wanted to use these photos and what I did was I went through my huge collection of papers and I pulled out all these papers and was pleasantly surprised at how well they coordinated together. This paper, Baby Boy Stripes from Imaginations, has been in my stash for well over 10 years, which is really sad to say, but true. So I'm just inking the edges of my Basil card stock, and with this Imaginations paper, I'm just using the distressing tool from Tim Holtz, just to distress it a bit, I guess. And then I will go ahead and ink those edges with the distress ink in tea dye, just as I did on the Basil card stock just so that everything is uniformed. Happy with what I've done so far, so I'm just going to adhere those two papers together and then move on with this layout. This basil cardstock is exactly the same paper as my base layer, just for everything to, to coordinate a bit nicely. So what I'm doing here is I just went to my bin of scrap paper and I'm just matting my photos with some of this lovely sort of brown patterned paper and once again inking that basil cardstock with that distress ink in tea dye. This layout has a bit of a vintage feel and I guess that is because when I look at these photos and the kids are playing with this old old cart that we found at a junkyard it just looks vintagey to me and Victoria's wearing a lovely sort of vintagey summer, summer dress that was made by a girlfriend of mine and yeah it just felt vintage to me and I sort of went with that feel. So what I'm doing here is I as you saw earlier I trimmed this paper down to a square and I'm just using some of that uh, tea dye distress ink and I wanted to bring more of that sepia colour in so all I did was I inked the edges and then with some water I'm letting it sort of drip down and that softens the paper and it just gives it a bit of that old world look and I was really happy with how it turned out in the end. So the paper that I'm using there, the square one, that is from Attic Charm, it's called Mercantile and it's from 2016 so it's not very old so I'm glad I'm finally getting it onto this page. I do go back into my little scrap bin and I pull out another piece of paper from Attic Charm that I've used previously and it has all these lovely little square tags on whatever whatever they're called and I'm just going to use a template from a tag and just fussy cut around them and they're going to form part of my title as well as some sayings I guess. These stamps have been in my stash for well over 10 years. They're very old and I'm just going to use some embossing ink and then I'm going to use the Rangers embossing powder in this lovely gold colour and yep, get my heat gun to it and I love how this does turn out. The second tag I actually took to my silhouette machine and I used the sketch pen to write out two peas in a pod, birds of a feather, partners in crime. I love how this looks. I do ink the edges of all three tags with the Distress Ink in tea dye. And the stamps I'm using here are going to spell out the words Friends Forever. And they are stamps from the Rejix store. Once my three tags are done, I'm going to use some lace that I found in my stash. And I just really like the touch that this added. It added some texture and it also gave it some of that old world feel which went quite nicely and my daughter's got a bit of lace on her dress as well which you can't see in these photos. I used these Kaisercraft rub-ons which are called boys on that one of the tags that came with that Attic Charm paper and I just rubbed it on. I did all that off camera and then fussy cut around the little tags. I didn't want the whole thing squared and yeah it's coming along nicely. This chipboard that I'm going to be embossing with this lovely Rangers embossing powder has been floating around my desk for a number of months now so I am so glad that it's finally found its forever home. 
The embossing powder was just a little bit bright for my liking, so I got the Prima Art Alchemy Metallic Wax in Vintage Gold, and that just added that authenticity that I was looking for. We're coming to the end of the layout, and this is basically how it will end. I will just be sticking everything down. I use some glue to stick down that chipboard and double-sided tape for the tags. Okay, everyone, wherever in the world you may be, if you're in Australia like I am, I hope you're all staying warm because it has been freezing over here, especially this week. And if you're enjoying summer, please say hello to the sun for me because I am missing its warmth. So as always, I want to thank you all for your support. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for your likes. Um, yeah, they all do help with the growing of my channel. So here is some close-ups. And I hope you're all well. Stay safe. Until next time. God bless. And there will be some still photos for those of you that like watching or seeing the still photos at the end. Bye, everybody. Till next time.